Hello, welcome, Marlin here. With the holidays around the corner, I thought I'd revisit my all-time most popular tutorial ever, the Paint-A-Cookie. This is where you create a paint palette which is activated with water and then you can come in and paint a cookie. If you find this tutorial to be useful, I am accepting tips and I greatly appreciate your donations. Now on to today's tutorial. What if you could do half the process of your cookie decorating in advance? This is the paint chip to go and package with the painter cookie. So you can see it's about the length of the paintbrush so you can package it with those paintbrushes. And at the end of your orders that you're working on now, you can take your leftover icing and look at the size tip I'm using so I don't even have to like squeeze, it's two seconds. I'm adding five jelly beans to the And once these are dry, I'll be able to come in and paint them with my food color and I'll be able to include them with the paintbrush, with the cookie, and voila, everything will be done. Let's, I'm going to start with my yellow. Once you have several of these ready, you can move on to adding the actual color to them. You can either do this with food gel or airbrush color, whichever you prefer. I find the airbrush works better for me. The gel I find leaves like a residue. They remain kind of tacky. It never dries completely and so I use airbrush. I'm applying my airbrush colors with my airbrush gun but if you don't have one you can simply paint these colors on. I painted the three center dots in yellow and now I'm using the blue to create the green on top of the yellow and using the red to create the orange on top of the yellow. Now to complete the little paint to go with the cookies, I'll show you what I'm doing. I have these bags and I'm slipping in the tongue compressor in there and there goes the paintbrush, you see, a perfect little fit. My bags have a little sealable sticky area and if you want you can fold this back if you want you could tape it or have a little ribbon on it but you see you get to make them in advance you can put them away for the holidays and then you'll be able to include that with your cookies and you'll only have the cookies to decorate since it's so hectic during the holidays this will be a huge huge time saver we're starting with the white icing. I did add a bit of white food gel to it just to make sure that it was nice and white and popped. And now I'm just flooding the whole surface of this cookie with this white icing. I've got my two icings exactly at the same consistency. So I mixed up the white and then I just saved some in the bowl, added a couple of drops of black food gel to it and so they're exactly the same consistency that will facilitate having a nice smooth surface if everything is the same consistency and if you see the cookie there that's completed the black lines are not jet 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 black that is not necessary to get the icing so black it's just to have guidelines and if you don't take your icing too dark it will reduce the chance of bleeding because when you drop black lines and white icing, that is something that does occur on occasion. The icing color will bleed into the white. And so by having it a little bit lighter, you're improving your chances. Got my cookie all done. I'm grabbing now this kind of gray icing and about here I'm doing a dot and then I'm doing five petals on this flower and now I'm grabbing my white icing once again and just dotting the center of the flower this will allow me to be able to color it and now here I'm guessing a line I'm kind of eyeballing it this is the top of the clowns like the brim that's touching his head. And now around the head, this is the actual head here. And now I'm adding kind of a wiggly line here for the neck. There. 
And now for the brim of the hat. Like so. And now the actual hat here, the top. There we go. And I'm adding a bit of a border on the hat. And now for the clown smile. Like so. The actual smile in the center. A circle for the nose and his eyes. And there we have it. Once you've got your cookies all wrapped up with my super fast bows, you can find the link to that tutorial in the description box. You can include a little paint palette and paintbrush and the kids are ready to go. Here is the cookie. It's dry and we have our little paint palette that we can activate with water and let's get started here. I'm going to start with the blue. Here is our completed clown cookie. You can either let it dry, save it for later, or you could eat it right now. I've created several versions of the painted cookie, but I have to tell you, this is my all time favorite. I am just thrilled at the idea that the children will not be eating this leftover food color and all that extra sugar for no reason. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.